Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I got a brand new defense out of my brand new Alabama defensive ebook that I just dropped. I'm not using Alabama, though. I'm actually using Georgia once again because that's still my favorite offense. But the defense I'm going to show you guys is in both playbooks, as it's probably in half the defensive playbooks in the entire game. But before I get into the gameplay, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the channel. If you need more help and more money plays, you can download any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. I started this game out on offense, and I'm still using the Georgia playbook, which to me is the best playbook in the entire game, mostly because of all the bunch formations it has, even though I really rarely use bunch formations but for people that wonder why i'm always using a tier one team like georgia that's because they don't let you change playbooks when you play online head to head so it is what it is i'm kind of stuck with this team for now until i get my next ebook out which is going to probably be alabama since that's the team i see the most online the defensive formation that I'm going to be showing you guys today is a newly named one called the 3-3 Mint, but it's also called the 3-3 Odd. And if you're one of the people that followed my channel last year during Madden, this should look very familiar to you as I'm going to use a very similar setup to one that I put out late last year. But if you look for the 33 Mint and it's not in your playbook, look for the 3-3 Odd and it might be, which is basically going to have the exact same setup. So this should be in about half the defensive playbooks in the entire game, I would imagine. Now this is another defense that has a universal setup, which means you can use it in multiple coverages. So whether you like cover three cover two you just need to look for this defensive end slash outside linebacker going in a different angle that looks like this away from the other crashing lineman and you're going to want to make sure you flip the play in the huddle now the play that i like to use is the cover three match i like to use this defense because i think it's the best pass defense in the entire game well i want to talk about all the different coverage things you can do with this particular defense that you can't necessarily do with cover three sky or defenses like that because you don't have matching principles one of the best things about this defense is there's really not a lot of setup at all as a lot of times players can come out in college football and just run an rpo play right away so you need something you can set up very quickly and in this play all you really have to do is blitz all linebackers which is d-pad to the right and then down the right stick and then just bring your user down over this guard until these blue pass rush bars pop up above your head so that you know that the linemen are targeting you so you can pull a blocker before dropping back into coverage <laughs> And you can see how pressure can come from multiple areas on this blitz as I'm trying to get the other inside linebacker in free, but the defensive ends also come in free quite often. And I guess that play works out well for him. He tries to run a hurry up to do it again. And since he's in a trip set, it actually adds another step to the process. So sometimes these type of formations can pull the blitzing linebacker out of alignment. So they have to walk him back so that he's shooting for that gap as we get the exact same look in the very next play. <laughs> Almost getting a safety on the second play of the game. On the next play, I accidentally forget to flip the play in the huddle, so I have to do it on field. And I also noticed that when I blitz all linebackers, that this linebacker is not in the right lane. You need him going right towards this guard. So from time to time, you may have to fix that. But it's really the only two steps to the entire setup of this blitz. As he tries to run a jet sweep on the next play, and has anybody ever noticed that when your opponent runs these plays, it freezes your defender before the ball is hiked? Bullshit. Now, obviously, you don't want to blitz every single play because eventually your opponent's going to diagnose that and start throwing it over the middle. So on the next play, I just want to make it look like I'm blitzing So as I drop my defender down into the same gap before I have a last second change of heart and decide to zone all linebackers while also hard flagging to play the short yards that he needs on the very next play. But this is just a last second adjustment that I made because I changed my mind. As you can see, these two linebackers play the exact same spot. Gotcha, bitch! Ultimately resulting in a pick six. But I'm going to show you guys a better way to run this coverage in a minute. 
The reason I like cover three is because these seam flats typically defend one of the biggest vulnerabilities when it comes to cover three defense, and that's streaks right up the seam, either from the tight end or from the slot receiver. One of the other weaknesses, though, is underneath the dropping cornerbacks. Since they start to play eight yards off the line of scrimmage and drop back immediately after the play start, making them very vulnerable to short routes underneath. So I find it's best sometimes when I'm going full coverage to put the blitzing outside linebacker into a Mabel concept look by putting him on a hard flat. Although in this play, I accidentally did it with the defensive end and he hits me with another end around for a first down. But you can't run jet sweeps all game as he tries to pass in the very next play. <laughs> And it's crazy how easy it is to tackle guys on defense compared to offense. Barry touched him! Fly tackle by Gaza! Clearly a flop there, no contact mate! Before we punch it in on the ground with an inside zone on the very next play. Back on defense, we actually get the defense set up right this time by putting the outside linebacker into that Mabel hard flat. And now you can see how it's gonna be very difficult to pass on that side. But watch how the seam flat on the other side matches this crossing receiver. As I decide to leave him alone, thinking that the seam flat's gonna cover it the entire way, but he actually does lose some ground and eventually give up a big play. But that's still something you won't see from regular cover threes. They'll typically just drop back and cover the flats. I play zone again on the next play. And you can see how this is not nearly as good of a run defensive setup as he has his best run of the entire game. So if you think your opponent's gonna run, make sure you're doing the blitz setup. He continues to run hurry up and I continue to run coverage until I decide to send that blitz one more time and we get an A gap right up the middle. That forces a bad throw that ends up in an interception. As I do make a play to get down the field in a hurry with a big play to my tight end and some poor tackling by my opponent. But I just can't punch it in from the one yard line as I try on back to back downs and I just forgot the possession catch or I would have had a score. But my opponent gets the ball back with no time anyway and has to try to force it down the field as we come up with another interception. How about new? With only eight seconds left, I do try one play touchdown that I put out recently in a video, link in the description and on screen at the end of the video if you guys want to check that out. And I would have had a one play touchdown here if I would have just ran outside, but instead I try to put on a slow juke that slows me down enough for my opponent to catch me and keep him from scoring. He gets the ball in the second half and I'm saying this blitz a little more than I might usually because I'm trying to get more sacks for the intro of this video, but you can see how the blitzing linebackers can also shut down the run making this very difficult to run against this formation as well and on the next play the second i see this running back motion out i go to hard flat immediately before the play starts and it works out perfectly as we get down to the flats and stop that play in its tracks but on third and nine once again i try to send that blitz because like i said i'm trying to get some highlight real sack footage and we almost get it but he throws it over the top of the blitzing linebackers which is something your opponent will start to do so if you're playing against somebody who's using this just be on the lookout for that blitz as you can have room to throw right over the top of them which is why you want to be pretty even blitzing half the time and also dropping in his own half the time watch out, watch out, watch out. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh. As we finally get that A gap pressure from the blitzing middle linebacker that we've been looking for this entire game, and we return it for a scoop and score. Oh, as he finally pulls the ripcord down 27 0. But not before my defense outscored his offense and he never scored a single point. If he dies. Does. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more tip videos and gameplay, I'll try to have the video from the one play touchdown that I tried to score before halftime popping up on screen, as well as some other defensive tip videos. So if you guys want to see more, just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.